Hey y'all, we're at 2131 Tennessee Avenue. We just closed on this flip project, so we want to show you around before we start renovations. It's a stinky one. Yeah. Pretty bad. Okay, so obviously we walked into the living room. Um, so this property was built in 1935. It's currently a two bedroom, one bath, just over 1,100 square feet. We'll keep it a two bedroom, one bath, but we're gonna add square footage on the back, the sunroom area, so it'll almost be 1,400 square feet when we're done. So what I love about this room is it has the large moldings around the windows. It has these French doors that I'm gonna keep. Um, the wood color, we just have to um, fix some of the panes. This is dining room. Um, we will put in a new slider here. The budget allows will do French doors, but usually the slider is more cost effective. Um, this is like a smaller dining room, um, but I would like to keep the storage closet here just because there's not a lot of storage in this house. So I will most likely stay with a round table. Also in here, we're going to open up this wall as much as we can. So it will be flush against this exterior wall here to the right. Um, so we can allow for cabinets, like a peninsula, and if there's enough room for like bar seating, maybe three bar stools. Um, the kitchen is a disaster. Um, the best part about it has got to be this brick chimney that was probably used for like the old like wood burning stove, which is pretty cool. So we'll definitely leave that exposed. Back here is laundry extra space i don't really know what to call it right now but we will basically be putting closet doors to close in the laundry area so it'll be like a laundry closet and all of this will be like a sunroom so this is all getting reframed new windows um probably new sub floor all kinds of things out here so one more thing that i don't think i've told you about yet Yay. Dear, but I don't know if it's in the budget or not. No. <laughs> but we've got to move this entry door. And this will be closed in here, and the entry door has to be here. Because right now, to get to the bathroom, you either have to walk through the master or the second bedroom. So, yeah, there's that. Master. This is the hallway that leads you to the bathroom. So that door that we just walked through will have to move to like here. So it creates a hallway. So you can either, from the dining room, you can go to each bedroom or the bathroom. Makes a lot more sense. So the bathroom is a full gut. We will do new tile floor, new tile tub surround, vanity, obviously new toilet. A lot better. Oh, goodness. Stink. Okay. So this is the second bedroom. Obviously, there's a major leak here. It's currently leaking. We've had a lot of rain in Savannah the last couple days. And it is definitely still. Yay. Um, so what else? Backyard. Yeah, that's about it. Yes, keep that front door. So, and we'll leave this mail slot. So I just had to find like an older, you know, the older full of brass mail slots that go in here. Definitely keep that. So I'm gonna show y'all the backyard, which is getting like a full overhaul, but just wanted to point out this oak tree. It's so pretty. It's probably the prettiest one that we've had in one of our flip houses yards. So super excited about that. Definitely one of the reasons we bought this house. So all these sheds that you see back here will be gone. We will keep this side deck. We will have to, you know, redo some of the wood on it. And then you're free to walk in the backyard here. I'm not walking back there. It's a jungle. I mean, you don't have to walk that far, but that deck will be removed 
completely all sheds. So I'm really excited about this one. So one thing that I try to do with each house is take some type of inspiration from the house before we start renovation. So this house is definitely very cottagey, um, craftsman style. So I'm going to paint the house Greek Villa, which is my favorite white. And then I'm going to um, do the windows a dusty blue, which I've never done before, but I'm really excited about. Um, but I think it just you know, ties the blue back into the house once we're done renovating. And we can't wait to show you once it's done.